What are movie disciples and good people of YouTube? I am Movie Messiah here with another episode of Movie Mondays. This is episode seven, and I can't do this alone. I got my dog G is back with me as a co-host as usual, and for the first time on the YouTube channel, who's been a supporter, I guess, for a while. We had our sort of mini podcast. Uh, I don't know how long it ran for, but we had a podcast. So she, was, she was doing everything she didn't, and she was the truth of uh, holding it down. And I had to bring her on because she is a movie, a movie lover, a TV lover, anime lover, comic nerd, all that good stuff. Good friend, great friend, throwback friend. Give it up for Melinda. What's going on? How you doing? Good. How are you doing? I am. I'm hanging in there, pal. Hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm glad you can be on the show. They'll finally get you on the show. We can chop it up uh, since we rarely get to see each other too much anymore and talk that much. Um, before we do, though, make sure you guys follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And make sure you guys follow them as well on Instagram. Melinda, is that okay? They follow you that on works. Instagram. Yes, that works. Everybody, everybody wants more followers, right? Exactly. And... Also, make sure you guys hit that like, share, and subscribe button to the channel. First up, I was going to, like, hold this off, but it's been, like, getting on my nerves. Batwoman. We talked about it, I think, on episode five with uh, with John and and my dude, Dre. G was absent. I don't know what G was doing, but that's neither here nor there. Um, there Just putting him on blast like that. Okay. Hey, hey. That's cold-blooded. <laughs> what can I say? Sometimes you gotta like let the chopper ring out. Um, <laughs> we talked about pretty much, you know, Ruby Rose quitting Bad Woman. Who would like to see, you know, coming and to replace her character, KK? Now it's news that they're not even replacing her character. They're giving a whole new character by the name of Ryan Wilder. It could be just a code name at the moment, but they're scrapping whole the whole KK, like her character, just out the paint, and that kind of like. Makes no effing sense to me, <laughs> really. Like, I'm thinking, like, why would you do this? Because so many storylines. Um, I guess I'm not getting the spoiler territory. G, I know G's never gonna watch the show. <laughs> never. I probably, never. I, I, I don't know. I probably won't. Maybe when we get a new character. Right. Maybe. Maybe or if they just drop the. Maybe they just make a Batman series. That'd be great. Can we get a live action Batman Beyond? Let me Can throw that we? one up. Like the one we grew up on, you know what I'm saying? That, like, that might happen on HBO so Max. Good. That might happen on HBO Max. But with the whole KK thing, like I said, like, this is kind of spoiler, spoiler territory. Um, I mean, there's pretty much her character has a lot of storylines dealing with everybody. I mean, obviously, it makes sense. So in my head, this makes no sense for them to like scrap her character and bring a whole new character in because we could easily been like, oh, okay, like. She got a new, new face. They would probably made a like slight joke. Oh, you had different, different haircut. There's something different about you. They could easily did that and kept kept it moving. But now replacing her, it's kind of like if they took out Oliver Queen on the first season of Arrow, came back the second season, it was like, yeah, the new Green Arrow is Roger uh, Roger Waterman. Right. But yeah, wait a minute. Like, not really, because if you remember, like, Batman goes through sidekicks like nothing. So it's just a... <laughs> Whole new Batwoman. <laughs> like, think about how many Robins he's had. This is right. Like, this is very true. But like I say, yeah. one that's a sidekick. One that's okay. one sidekick. And I mean, I was I was thinking the same thing. Like in Arrow, right? Uh, people who haven't seen the show Arrow uh, might be a spoiler alert here. Um, somebody dies, or one of the canaries dies, and then they come in with a new canary, right? But there's already like a core established. So it was like, oh, okay, she can just fit in. She's like, she ain't the she ain't the leader of the show. That makes sense. But with this, I semi semi spoiler, like KK and AK Batwoman is connected. Like her dad is the head of like the 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 security team of like the Gotham. Like they're, they're like the SWAT, super SWAT team. So he, they got that dynamic. Then her the villain, spoiler alert, is her twin sister. Yeah, like it's it's effing crazy. Yeah. And what then, was their relationship to him? They were great niece, right? Or something like that. Who? Oh, you talking about Bruce? Bruce Wayne? Yeah, Mike. No, Bruce Wayne is her cousin. Like they grew up cousin. together. Her cousin's like they probably like she's probably. I want to say Bruce is like maybe 
set six to eight years older than her, maybe, but they're cousins. I'm like, that's that dynamic. I'm like, they're cousins. So I'm like, that, that throws things off. Um, uh, her stepsister, spoiler alert, found out that she's bad one of them. And then the dude that she's working with is Lucius Fox, son, Luke Fox. They got that dynamic going uh, down. So it was like, all right, so you're going to scrap all that. And so some, some, some girls are going to like fall into the back cave and be like, oh, yeah. Or, or is I know where everything is. Yeah, it was like so, so. So, so is her character gonna like save her and then die? She's like, you know what? I'm gonna put it on the thing and kind of like you know, Spider Man into Spider Man. It Spider-Man. probably would be. It probably would work mm-hmm. that way. You gotta find mm-hmm. a way to merge the two. All you gotta do is really just kill off the character and put the new one in. <laughs> I'm saying, but I'm saying, does that make any sense? Like, you say it could work, yes. but like, you scrap everything. You, you should, should you just even scrap it, even the side characters as well and just start the whole shit all over. Okay. However, when I I did try to watch it, but it was just something about it that didn't appeal to me. It didn't. I don't know if it was the acting or what. So maybe that's what they found out about a lot of people. Like her character didn't resonate with anybody like Mm -hmm. her acting. So maybe that's why they're doing it and bringing in another one because the way you laid it out makes it sound like, yeah, it would have been great to watch, but it was yeah. something about yeah. the show that I just it didn't go well with me. They they did say that this character is going to be goofy or a little goofy. Um, she used to like run drugs, but like, she's like totally opposite of Kate. So she's not like dark and like kind of mysterious. Like she's goofy. Uh, used to run drugs. Used to, I think used to be on drugs at some point. Like she's she's a little more likable. Um, she's messier, and she's definitely still a legend. She's def- definitely still eating the box. Um, they're definitely still doing that. So, G, what do you, what do you think? Does does this can they can they pull this off? Does it, does it sound crazy? With everything I just said to you. No, actually, I I agree with Melinda. With the way you put everything, it makes me want to watch the show. But I feel like a lot of people felt it had that hidden agenda when they found out that she was lesbian. They felt that it was a little bit too much focus on her being lesbian and not enough on the like her having the dynamic with being you know what's the what's the word like there has to be some relatability for the character to work right like Mm -hmm. so they thought that that would be enough but it almost is like a clash you you got this character that's she's gay but then she's like dark gay it's like a dark it's like a dark (laughs) like a dark web type thing it just doesn't work you know what i mean like the i don't know man it just that for me and with a lot of people i think was like kind of confusing we were like so why put so much emphasis on gay if she didn't like nobody like she is just not hip and friendly to anyone period like she ain't she you know it's not like she know herself so i don't know it was like a weird the little half episode that i saw too i just was like mm, there's something about this it's just not she's not hitting like even with the crossover episode with her in there she was just trying to be so fierce and like i was just like it just doesn't the height the stakes was up here right mm-hmm. and then we looked at batwoman and we was like do we really need you like <laughs> we don't really need you like you know what i mean there's just so many other people that have so much going on i don't know if that's just because we you know have so much from like so much to to go off of with the other characters that Mm -hmm. we were like okay cool she's all right you know what i mean but we're not used to seeing like someone in that outfit be a support person we're kind of used to seeing them at more like the forefront you know what i'm saying so it was maybe it it felt like like i said spoiler alert yeah yeah i get it like you can't have black panther and iron man like you know what i'm saying you can't expect both of them to be like subservient to one another yeah <laughs> i don't know i feel i feel a little different i think it wasn't like i said I, obviously i watched the whole season so i don't think it was really like her i think it's just something that we're just not used to seeing like and maybe that's why they put it out there her being a a, a lesbian um and being a superhero because it wasn't like hey like it, she, it wasn't just like her out there like hey john like every like five scenes like yeah i'm gay i'm gay um because in the show you know it kind of it shows that you know she is she she does know who she is she's proud of that um her first her father i don't say he deals with him like he's like he's like he he understands it like he sees it 
uh, he's like super overprotective though. I, I think it's still something we just haven't seen. Like I said, it, it wasn't it wasn't over the top because some people could say like Black Lightning is over the top, like black, but that's just like black <laughs> issues. I'm like that's what I look at. I'm yo, like, they were saying the N word on that show, yo. I'm like, yes. but, that, but that's real though, right? Like, that's, I was like, dang. Like that's real though, right? Like <laughs> we we're talking comfortably, like we call each other out, we're just chopping it up. Yeah, and word comes out. So hey, I'm, I, I was like, this is real. Term of endearment. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like that, I'm like that's real. So I'm like, Black Lightning to me isn't over the top. It's just stuff like people just haven't seen before. So watching Bad Woman is like we just haven't seen a, a lesbian a lesbian superhero. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't watching the L word. So I'm not watching, or I'm not watching, uh, I mean, unless it was like, it was just happened to be on the show. I'm like, oh, okay, like, Legend of Tomorrow. Wasn't she the same way. character in the L word? She just has a cape in this one? Wasn't she the same character? You mean Orange is New Black? Or Orange is a New Black? That's Never watched like, it. That's I'm like gonna, the L word part I don't know. two, right? No, definitely not, Gene. <laughs> you <laughs> no. trying to get shot in the comments. <laughs> Melinda, did you watch the season when she came on Oranges and Black? Because I stopped. I'm like, I, I, I stopped watching. I want to say, before. I don't think I watched that season. Because mm, that's how she kind of. I was like, like, I was like, she was on the Oranges and New Black. Yeah, <laughs> she's on Orange and New Black. Uh, spoiler alert: butt ass naked, apparently, because she believes in herself. And I mean, the way she looks, I would believe myself too. But nah, yeah, you like, get that, paid more when you're naked. Let's be real. That too. I mean, but everybody ain't out here. I don't care how you look. Like you could, you could know you're good looking. Was like I'm not showing my body. Uh, on a side note, insecure. I was watching and, and slash listening to a podcast. Bomani a couple of days ago, Bomani Jones podcast. He was like, "Yeah, man, why why ain't Easton and Molly out here getting full naked? Like all the dudes, they're rather getting butt ass <laughs> naked. Why ain't getting naked? I'm like, they got great bodies, but they ain't showing the bodies off. But you too. also know Molly is still a virgin. Yeah, so real life, I feel yeah. like she being super like. Doing everything she's doing is out of the comfort zone for her, probably anyway. So making it I, naked and doing sex scenes, I think that would be crossing the line. I get it, but you just said they get paid more, so you want that bag? They show do. them tatas. But I mean, last episode, Issa was naked. She just wasn't she, like, look at me. She, she, she was, was naked. naked she, she was naked, but we we you know what I'm it's talking about. Though. You know what I'm okay. talking about. You know what? When when dudes start slinging their dick on TV. Then That's we can talk about that. it. It's plenty of that. Uh, no, 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 no. Or regular TV. You for Regular TV. You can't put some penis and breast on, on, no. on cable Wait, television. Wait, they did watch it first, but that's HBO. Yes. I'm talking regular cable television. Like, y'all be just dropping out boobs and shit and girls' asses. And there's, then y'all be like, what? Huh? Like, there's, there's none of that. Um, Don't you know? <laughs> there's none of that on the CW. Uh, I'm still CBS, recovering from ABC. her seeing slang and dick. I'm still recovering from that part of the Huh. I'm like, oh god! <laughs> Y'all like, oh, yep, mm-hmm. Like, there, there's none of that though. Like, my, my, like, that's only on like the the premium channels, <laughs> HBO, Showtime. Like, you, you barely get that on. Oh, no. I guess MTV or like TNT now. Like, you get you get like men and women like ass sheets now, but you're not gonna get yes. full on meat and breasts and the box. You're not you always that on get like on you channel. always get like side boob and shit. Can I get a man in some gray sweatpants? Can I get in print? Like, I'm just saying. Why would there, why? You, why you, what? Say everything you want to see some side boobs. I don't care about side boobs. I think, I mean, that's just, that's just fashion. Like, there's nothing really you can fashion show off for a dude's meat besides, you say, great sweatpants. And who's, like, there's not going to be a shot and just, like, uh, a pan of you see the man's pants and go to his face, like. Why can't we? I don't know. You, I mean, they probably could, but I, you're not going to get them on basic television. Like, let's be real. Like, you. you watch. Uh, let's watch the TV. You watch the ladies walking, and mm -hmm. you go from the bottom because you want to see how short their skirts are. You get their ass, then the camera turns around and shows you the front a lot. Why can't we do the same for a dude? Can we have him in the gym lifting weights in the gray sweatpants they, and the tank they, top? They, they gave me plenty of that eye candy on Arrow. Oliver Queen was butt naked <laughs> for a, at least every episode uh, in the first season. He was in the same right. ladder. Yeah, just. Yep, you're right. <laughs> I'm like, like we give you like they there's a there's getting better now it's a balance like hey like, you good looking take your shirt off you know the deal I'm just saying yeah, it's like just take your shirt off thing I'm just saying. we we got off topic <laughs> make sure you guys watch Insecure season <laughs> finale in two weeks oh god <laughs> show them things that's that's our hashtag show them things okay. I can't even remember where we was going pretty much I feel like this is not gonna be 
this is gonna be freaking weird. I'm gonna check it out to see how they do this. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of CW though, Melinda, you've been watching Star Girl. What yes. are you been thinking about the first three episodes? G is not gonna watch it because G does not believe women can be superheroes. That's another topic for another day. <laughs> he hated Captain Marvel. He said Black Widow's gonna be sh- cheeks. Uh, one more right. so, no, <laughs> <laughs> I'll play. Um, but no, for real, Melinda, what do you think about what do you think about Star Girl so far? I've watched the first three episodes myself. Okay, so I like the idea, mm-hmm. but I feel like the way they're writing the character is really annoying. Like, <laughs> is she too it, childish for you? Is what? Is she too childish for you? Is, yes, but I think it's more than just childish. It's like a reckless childish. Like, I get it, she's 15, and they're trying to build, like, the whole she's 15 and she's reckless. But it's like, little girl, sit your ass down. Follow some directions. You know, like, you don't know what you're doing, Mm -hmm. and you're just going out there. And I can see a lot of it going really wrong. Mm -hmm. And I guess that might be part of the reason why they're making her so reckless Mm -hmm. and like that. Um, But it's like, spoiler alert, I guess. Um, The guy, like, the new stepdad was Starman's psychic. Yes. So when she finds out, she's not listening to him. I'm like, bitch, this dude has been in the game. Like, can you not mm-hmm. follow any directions? Like, right. it's none of that. So it's like, oh, no, you're my sidekick now. Come on, you're going to do what I say. And I don't like it. <laughs> but I am going to keep watching the show. Mm. I'm hoping her character develops a little bit more. Maybe maybe we're getting a little too old now to, like, really watch, you know, like, some of this I would guess say silly or more immature stuff. Like I've been starting to notice that with certain things, like especially on the past couple of shows, the things on the CW or just in general. Like when I was like, watch the show, you know, I'm on block. I was like, I don't know if I'm watching teenagers at this moment. Like I can't really like t- get my mind tuned into this. Like I'm starting to get into the older watch category. Like you know what, <laughs> teenagers, are like, oh man, I don't get time to hear any of this stuff. So uh, I can see where you come from a little bit because like she is super reckless. But I feel I feel like the technical standpoint points. The CGI is pretty solid. Um, her her outfit is cool. Um, the acting is good, like I said. And I guess I am kind of intrigued by you know the the storyline and the the villain. No, they kind of revealed I guess like the main big bad this past episode. Uh, Icicle. It's cool. I'm like I might I might keep tuning in. I, I might get one more episode, and we'll see. So you say you're gonna keep watching it though. Yes, I will give it a season. Like mm. it's, not, I feel like her character can develop in that point in time. Mm. Um, and it is kind of weird the whole name changes a little bit. Like, I like, I don't know what is it? What were they calling it? The League of Justice instead of the Justice League or uh, something? Uh, it's the, or society, it's the Society of Justice, Justice or something weird? Justice Society of America. But I mean, that's what it was called like way back in the day, anyway. Like it was called that at some point, and also this is a, this is on the same Earth. That we're talking about the Arrowverse. This is like on Earth, like sixteen or something like that. They didn't reveal that. Cause I, like I said, it's supposed to be on the DC TV universe, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of the app. I never downloaded it or watched it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's where they got like that and the show Titans, which I do want to watch. Have you seen Titans? I want to. I need to. Yeah, I heard it's fire. Everybody keeps saying it gets better and better. I heard Robin yeah. is killing it. Yeah. G, would you watch Stargirl after what we just said? So, how, where is she falling to the whole world? What? How, what's her relevance? Um, <laughs> the superheroes are, like, dead. And now she's the only superhero. Yeah, so, yeah, my, all the superheroes from the Justice Society of America, like, have been killed by the Injustice Society of America at some point. So somehow uh, she pretty much stumbles upon Starman's staff and she's the only one that can control it. So now she's Star Girl. It's something. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're, yeah. Like, there's not a lot of stuff that watch right now. So that's also yeah. part of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> like, yeah. I realize I watch so much. Like I, I watch TV and I watch movies, but never this much. Um, yeah, we'll get to that later. That's what it, yeah, I was about to say that's a good segue. We'll get to that later. I mean, well, since we're already here, what movies? Uh, I mean, you brought it up. What movies and TV shows have you revisited since we've been on 
quarantine slash lockdown? <laughs> um, I started off by watching Sailor Moon mm. because, um, and I'm talking like the original, not Sailor Moon Crystal, because, you know, with the, all of this lockdown happening, yes, no, don't no, whatever, because y'all don't understand. Don't, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not Yo, saying that. I, I'm, I just don't know. I'm like, yeah, I have no Sailor idea. Good. Yeah, Moon my, good. I remember watching as a kid. And he so I up. was waiting for my kids, um, like my students to come on Zoom. Mm -hmm. So I was Zooming it to make sure they, like when they came in, they was like, what are you watching? Y'all don't know nothing about Sailor Moon. Let's go ahead and watch a little bit of it. <laughs> and, yeah, so, bless them. Put them on yes. game. Right. Yeah. And, <laughs> you don't understand. Like ended up as I'm watching it, the kids were like, what can we watch next? And I was, I was, we, we watched um, Attack on Titan. We, and so like my whole classroom started off with watching a little bit of anime mm, before okay. we got started with the lesson. Um, I felt I like that. trying to tell Brian, I don't know where he's at, to watch Attack on Titan. Come on, I Brian. I will get, get that eventually. I, you know, I watched, this is why I have the channel. I watch too much television and movies as, as is, like, I will get there at some point. I'm just in the second season of Naruto, like, finally, like, they were finally, like, throwing hands on Naruto. My goodness, they were taking so long in the first season. That's another story for another day. I can't do Naruto. 8,000 8, <laughs> episodes. Yes. <laughs> Can you, you know what? Just hop on um, My Hero Academia. Can we get that? Like, everybody loves right. that? Everybody loves that. Just, I'll, I'll get Naruto. Try. Nobody cares anymore. If you really want to jump this, on that, go with Baruto. You know, this, hop on house, that one. this house cares about you know I don't like watching stuff out of order. Like it's rare <laughs> that I watch stuff out of order, so I have to watch everything until I get to Baruto. This house, she loves Naruto. Kakashi Sensei is her guy, so okay, then I can I understand. have to watch this damn show. Since I'm here, I put her on Arrow. I have to watch Naruto. It's not fair. Well, time out. You got cheated. <laughs> How you cheated? Because there's so many episodes. Oh, Naruto, and she's only watching the Arrow. <laughs> like, so many episodes. I will, I will air this for her so she can see this. That she oh knows this. I'm like, you can at least watch Flash season one since I'm watching. She, she needs to episodes. watch every superhero <laughs> TV show in full <laughs> to compensate for you watching our, all of Naruto. Like that's like <laughs> trying to hop somebody in and be like, yo, watch One Piece from episode one. You don't do that shit. No. You know what? Ask her. Ask her. Can you read the manga instead of watching it? Sorry. Right. What else? You say you watching Sailor yeah, Moon yeah, yeah, yeah. through students on Sailor Moon. What else <laughs> uh, have you been watching? Any movies? Okay, I haven't. Believe it or not, I haven't watched any movies. Mm. But I did go and watch um, All American for the first time. Okay. And okay. it's not a visit, but okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was doing. It's just finding things at that point of what can I watch that's going to hold my attention while I do work. <laughs> Well, what you uh, on a side note? What you think of All American? I I had fun with it. Uh, I think also my I, I'm so used to like being in the area now that I'm I can see stuff. Like, oh, okay, I know kind of where that's at. That area is. That area is. Also, I like to be on season three. Um, I liked it. I actually did like it. I didn't think I would, but I do feel like the main character again was a little too childish for me. Like if you don't get over this shit. <laughs> There, there's so a like a, right. there's a running joke like on TikTok slash Twitter where they be like, yo, every time like, yo, my dad, my dad left me. I gotta do this. Like, I'm like, it's it's messed up, but it's funny. Like, I get it. I, I see where you're coming from though. <laughs> I, I do enjoy the show. No. He needs to tell us what he's been rewatching. G. Oh yeah, I mean I've been. Dude, I stay on the Disney Plus channel. I rewatched like most of the X Men animated series when we grew up. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. Okay. I used to try to squeeze in them episodes before the bus came. I remember like, <laughs> yeah. So it's just like it's nostalgia to just be like, yep, going through these episodes. Sometimes it'll just be background noise. Um, I watched all of the Inhumans. Um, it's funny. Like I actually called B. That's like a conversation for another another time, but. <laughs> I uh, I made friends with like I guess you could say one of the characters and didn't even know it. This was like years prior, you know what I'm saying? But uh, man, a little bit of everything, a little bit, a little bit of everything. Anime, of course, you know, I should stay watching that. Like I remember when I don't even have a Twitter, and I saw that it was like trending on Twitter. It was like number one searched on YouTube. It was like Attack on Titan just season trailer for four, 
I'm like, hey, Brian, I know you see it. I know you see it. Like, there's people that don't even watch Attack on Titan. It's like reacting to it to get views. I'm like, ah, these guys, man, like, come on now. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, everything from anime movies. Brian is going to beat me up because I haven't caught up on uh, <laughs> the Flash shit. He watched Inhumans over all his the Apex Flash. Legends. I know. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm not on the flash yet either. It. It's okay. I flew through it. It was like, I mean, it was literally, it was so easy. Like, you didn't have to, like, legit stay watching, like, flashes where I'm, like, all, you know, so invested. Like, I can't get up and pee. I'm just like, I want to watch it. It was, it was a breeze. It was a breeze. And it was, like, give it, like, a six. Wow. That's that sounds better than what I guess the viewers gave it because it didn't get another season. Um, Superman Henry Cavill is obviously coming back for Justice League because uh, they're re-releasing that next year, I believe May next year. But man, he's been in talks. Now I want to say he pretty much got everything done that he's gonna come back in other movies, but he's not coming back for his own solo movie. I think that's crazy as hell. I feel like he should get his own sequel. What do you guys think? Is that fair? And do you guys want to see him in his own movie? Yeah. Or you just he want to see? Him, or do you want to he see? Did a great in? job. Yeah, Mike. You want to see him sprinkled in, kind of like I guess the Hulk. Like Hulk didn't have his own movie in the MCU. He had an Incredible Hulk, but that's somebody else playing it. So you're gonna think that? Right. Gonna... Incredible Hulk was fire. You talking about the? You talking about Hulk? Hulk that was goofy. The Incredible Hulk was dope. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. the Incredible Hulk was dope. Um, so I'm like, they might use him like that. Like, might throw him in there like they did Hulk and Thor Ragnarok. So you guys want him to have his own movie? Or is, is it fair? I don't think I, I care about him having his own movie. And I'm, that's weird, but I'm not really a Superman. Like, yay! I'm like, mm-hmm. cool, we saw you. We see what you can do. Right, right. I'm cool with you being a support character. Mm. The One of the top three superheroes of all time as support character. That's, that's wild. Okay, okay. G, what about you? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Batman, Batman, is, you? Batman is just, it's just a great, I, I think, I, maybe I'm assuming here, Melinda, but like, I think I agree with you. I'd rather have a story of Batman over Superman. Yes. Mm. I, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And if, and if you want to do the whole back and forth with Superman and Batman, we can join their movies. That would be amazing. Um, but didn't they try that? Definitely. <laughs> Oh Lord, whatever. <laughs> no, I, I, am I lying though? I'm like, wasn't it like wasn't the the response was like this is goofy? I'm like, this is not good. And people lost their minds. Yeah. And that's how we got Just Lee and it got even worse. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yes. However, that was because I wanna say it was the way they were trying to tell it. Mm-hmm. It, it wasn't think back to when we were like watching the cartoon animated versions of these shows. Right. Like take it back there. Go take those notes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how they did amazing, and redo mm-hmm. that. Like, even, wasn't that old TV show Superman and Lois Lane or something? Or Clark Kent and Lois Lane? Was that the name uh, of the show? It was, or was it named it, Superman? It was The Adventures of Lois and Clark. Okay, there we go. That was awesome. Like, I watched it, but you get none of that on this new kind of stuff. So, like, that's where I really feel like DC's kind of fucking up, because... Mm-hmm we have all of this love and everything. And I think they're just trying to make all of their characters something that we're not wanting, if that makes sense. Mm, okay. So you, or you think man is, did you enjoy man of steel one and two? Do you think it was too, did you think it was too dark? Cause uh, that, I'll get into my thoughts. I yeah. enjoyed one, mm-hmm. but not so much two. Uh, two. I was like, Oh, this is okay. Like, are you talking about like Batman versus Superman? That's what you count as two. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I can see where you're coming from. Like, it obviously you can sprinkle them into like Shazam, you know, have them pop up in that, and like maybe like help fight Black Adam. He might pop in a Black Adam they're talking about, and he might pop in into the Aquaman sequel. Wonder Woman 1984 is already shot, so odds of him of seeing him in that isn't probably gonna happen. I don't think, but that would be kind of dope if that did happen at the end somehow. Uh, I don't know how it would happen. Like, she got fast flash forward to the future. Whatever. Um, I, but I want to see him, like, in his own solo movie. Uh, I, maybe, like you said, you and G was saying, like, you know, Batman is more dynamic character, but I feel like what they were trying to build in Man of Steel, like, okay, this is different. Like, he is in the Boy Scout. And I would say, I mean, you got Smallville for 10 seasons. That's pretty much 
like the last like but four seasons. The last four seasons, he was pretty much Superman. He's wearing a, a leather jacket. <laughs> but it was different. It was him getting there, and it was him maturing and everything else. Mm -hmm. And you got to also remember, it was like growing. You know what I mean? Like it's not the okay, boom, I'm a superhero. This is what I do, and then it's very repetitive. And like I just feel like that's what Superman is. Like, did y'all see? Um, wow, why am I drawing a blank on the title of the movie? Um, the dark version of Superman. Like, if he went dark, I forgot what it was called. Like, Bright Side, I think. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Bright Burn. Yeah, yeah. Bright Burn. There we go. Yeah. Yo, like that. I w loved it. Can we get more of that? Like, <laughs> I mean, it was I mean, that's... yes, it was still. Like, Superman esque. Yeah, but it's not Superman. He's a killer. I'm like, no, I want to see that. <laughs> I mean, I did. I Obviously, no. We we wanted to see the the movie, but we don't want to see we want to see Superman with S on his chest killing somebody. I mean, unless they were. I mean, obviously, they were trying to do that, allude to that in Batman vs Superman. And well, you you say you would if it was in the Brightburn universe. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously in the Brightburn universe. Yeah, um, I think. Like I feel like they pulled it off with Captain America, and like Captain America was like the Boy Scout, right? Like I mean, I thought everybody in pretty much the Marvel Universe besides the X Men and Spider Man was was corny until I saw like Iron Man. I was like, oh, they made Iron Man cool. Oh man, they pulled off Thor, that dude, and then they, they pulled off Captain America. I was like, all right, y'all y'all done sold me. So I feel like they were headed that way in Man of Steel, and then it somehow was like, well, we got to catch up to what they're doing over there, and then they got. Like off track, and we didn't, didn't get a chance for Superman to do his thing. Like they were like, slow down. We maybe we wouldn't even be here. He he been had a second movie. I feel like if they give him a chance to get a second movie, we can be like you know what he like he's a he's a good time. Like he, he's still like the Boy Scout, but he still like throw these hands and be a dynamic, fun character. That's how I at least hope for. What about you, Gene? Or you you said what you said. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Next topic is Jurassic World. Jurassic World Dominion, aka Jurassic World Three, is coming out. Uh, I believe next year, and I thought it was gonna be the end of everything. Like it's gonna be, you know, wrapping up everything. All right, we we did it. We did a trilogy. But apparently, this is setting up like more movies and like other stuff. Did you guys see the little short film that came out last year? And do y'all care if this is really setting up more stuff? Do y'all want to see more stuff in the Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park? No. Uh, like I'm both on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I might have seen something. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the problem. That's like see, that's part of the problem. Like, it's on I don't YouTube. Know. <laughs> <laughs> they can't, like, I think when we got the first one, right, we was all like, yeah, we remember like, was Jeff Goldblum, right? We remember all that. Remember like T Rexes and stuff. We was like, dang, that's supposed to be the most fiercest. Like that shit was crazy. It was great. Now we got like a hybrid dinosaur, and then we got like I don't know what else is supposed to be. Like, <laughs> what's left? Did we find all the dinosaurs? Like, didn't they get their own island? Like, we're just gonna get their own <laughs> island or something like that? Yeah. Did, did y'all watch Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom? That came out twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen. It looks okay. like a no G. I'm trying to think. Was it? Did they I like? I, I feel like I feel like we did. I feel like y'all did. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to remember. Was this the one where the little girl was a clone? Yes. Okay. Spoiler alert, but yes. <laughs> I mean, from from way back when, we still spoiler alert those. I mean, some people, some people can't afford to go to the movies all the time. Okay. Um. So then, yes, I did see that one. Okay. If Maybe, there's anything after that, I don't think Since so. you just said clone, you was like, what's next? I'm like, what if they were like cloning, like, like maybe because I heard, I saw like some sketches. I'm like, what if they do like hybrid dinosaur people? So you got dinosaur like people like walking around, like, and because now they're like, they, it's loose in the world. That's why I did the little short film that came out on YouTube. Like, the dinosaurs like out in the streets. Like, can you imagine like driving down, you know, Highway 29 back home? and you see a uh, blossom raptor running on the side of your car like wouldn't that be terrifying like i feel like, like same speed as you no problem yeah like what's up dog like, i can't wait to murray when you park your car I'm like, <laughs> what, like what if they what if they all need that new tesla that that tank they were making right yeah <laughs> possibly i'm like yeah, that, that truck thing or whatever like since well, okay well if they're not doing like hybrid dinosaur people what if like 
the dinosaur just getting smart. Because remember in the first Jurassic Park, remember when they was like, you know, trying to like jam the kids up in the in the thing. They open up, they open the door. I'm like, what if the, the dinosaurs start getting smarter? Then it's like, oh, okay, we live in the world now. Like, I know what to do. Like, I know how to operate. Like, they just in the in the drive through at McDonald's, waiting for you like to or waiting for you clothes at work, just murdering people. Like, what if it turns the whole plan of the eight situation? It's like the whole drastic like apocalypse, and it's just dinosaurs killing people because some type of virus gets out and starts murdering motherfuckers. Maybe that's what they're going for super future movies. Like I wasn't I wanted to see the conclusion, but me thinking about this and theorizing, speculating, I think I can get myself hyped for this what what could potentially happen. I'm I'm not doing it for y'all. No. Not at all. Y'all over it. I mean I ain't gonna lie, Fallen Kingdom Fallen Kingdom, I was like, this is not that didn't they get out? Like the whole thing was disrupted because the the new one got out, right? The new hybrid, or am I that mixing was, the movies? Yeah, you mixing the movies. That was Jurassic World, but I mean they got they contained. I'm talking and Fallen Kingdom, they're out into the world. That's what I'm saying. Like I was trying to compare, like maybe they're setting up for the future. Like you seeing it, like what if you like on your base right now and T Rex like just getting ready like to murder you, like coming through the, the window. Shit. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like maybe that's what they're setting up in the future. Like it's just out in the world. Like you see a pterodactyl. It was like you walk into your car. You might like, go to Target. It's like no, I'm gonna pick your car up and just throw that shit into the ocean. Damn. Or it's like like murder hornets coming around or whatever. Exactly. I'm like this is 2020. And like this could be the future. Dinosaurs. I'm like we yeah. we could we can earn dinosaurs in July. That's how crazy this world's gotten. It's, yeah. yeah. I saw a meme that was like. Uh, it was like some aliens. Yeah, my like, we next. Saw that. I'm nervous. We next, y'all. I'm so nervous. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I'm low key nervous, man. I can't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I mean, at this point, I'm like, all right, bring it. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. The Invisible Man might be getting a sequel. Um, they were talking about maybe do a second or third one. I don't know where else they can go with it. You guys seen The Invisible Man? I did, and did I don't know where they can do it. <laughs> no, no it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't hold a candle to this one. What did you, what did you say, Melinda? <laughs> um, I agree. I don't know where they can go with it. Um, but I would watch it because I really did enjoy the first one. Mm, okay, yeah, so I'm like, I don't know where they can go with it, but I'm anxious to see. And speaking of, like, Universal Monsters, Ryan Gosling, is in talks or like reported to be the Wolfman in their its own movie. It's kind of like going to be like the movie Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal. It's been like an anchor or something like that, where he's out in these streets and obviously I'll, I'll say obviously he might get bitten by a, a wolf or something like that and turn into the Wolfman. So that could be interesting. You know, it'll be awesome if they did a remake of Team Wolf and that was what he was going for. No, they did Team Wolf on a TV show, Melinda. I'm like, why would no, no, no. Do? I don't want the TV show version. I want the old movie version. So you want to watch Team Wolf, Melissa? I did. You just called her. You sound like what Kelsey was saying. Yeah. Kobe Scott. Yeah. You see what I did there, right? <laughs> anyway, wait, wait. So you want Ryan Gosling to go around dribbling a basketball? And Melissa. Being team <laughs> and being Team Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be terrible. No, I won't see that. <laughs> Brian was like, gee, watch that show. I was like, I don't even know who you are, Brian. Team Wolf is Brandon. Dope. Brandon was like, gee, you should <laughs> watch that Team movie. Team Wolf was really good. It really was. TV show, right? It was a TV show, yes. Brandon TV show. and Melissa right now. Hey, guys. Welcome to the channel. We have new people now. We have Melissa down here below me. We have Brandon. Okay. No. Team I don't Wolf know these was, people. Team Wolf was like Buffy. It was like Buffy the Vampire. Yeah. I'm like, thank, like, that show was dope. Like, I didn't, dude. Don't. Yeah. Bro, remember we talked about we talked about the WB. Remember we talked about Xena, and Hercules, and that was never on the WB. I just let y'all like them. I let y'all talk about that. I'm like, that was, I'm never we talked about like, all that. We was talked not about WB. Lefebvre, WB. We talked about all these. Shows. It was on they random channels. It was like on no, USA. Wait, wait a minute, Lefem Nikita was definitely not on the same channel as Hercules and Xena. What do you mean? It was a late night like B T. I know. It was like no, 11. it was not. It was not it was, the same channel. It was on random. It was on late. It was I, on random. Time. I remember. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about this new one with like? No, I'm talking about the old original. No. With Michael. <laughs> they was super Russian or what was it German or whatever. Love that show. I ain't watching neither one of them joints. 
Uh, I didn't watch the new one. I watched the old one. I didn't watch the new one either. The old one was great. Yeah, didn't need it. But yes, those, I agree with Brian. Um, Hercules and Xena were on the same channel, but look, Fem Nikita was a different channel. And that was definitely not the WB. Never. <laughs> it never was. <laughs> no, it was. It was some it some random, like he said, it's some random ass channel. It was like, um, it was like, UPN? What's that? No, it wasn't one of the, like, I don't think so. I feel like it, it might be on UPN every once in a while, but it was also on, what was the, uh, the Chicago station as well. Like it would pop on like two o'clock on a Saturday. It was like Hercules and then Xena at three o'clock. It was just like uh-huh. on the WB. On a Saturday afternoon, no, not the WB. Maybe if it was, maybe they maybe, aired it like maybe. a repeat. But yeah, the, yeah. when they were originally coming out, it, it wasn't on the WB. It was a random, it was a random channel. That's why like, that's why you can never watch a show and follow the continuity because it was just came out and you're just like, oh, this is on. And you're just watching these are random adventures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize TNT was a thing until I was like 12. I was like, <laughs> oh. Right, like USA, okay. USA was having shows. I was like, that is not for me. Like, I don't know what they're yeah. doing. <laughs> None of them it shows. Like, it was like bikes on, it was like cops on bikes. And like I said, Lafim Nikita, I was like, I'm, I'm out. Lafim Nikita they, was fire, bro. It was. it was so technical. I know as a kid, I didn't understand none of that shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, why would I watch this? I'm not going to, I'm not going like, to get any of this. I'm, I'm out. Like, especially a TV show. Like, if it was a movie, yeah, sure. But a TV show, it's me stuff going it was on. So like, good. Like, it was so like, good. Like that's all I rewatched. Like, she was so like sultry that. though, bro. But she was a killer. <laughs> so I had to look this up. Sorry, no, guys. Okay. Zena came on USA, TNT, TBS, AMC, <laughs> Bravo, TV Land, True TV, and NBC. Random <laughs> channels. Random Killing channels. It. Killing it. Just random channels, right? That's what I'm saying. Like you couldn't tell right. when it was coming on because it was throwing like it was just throwing it out there. You yeah. didn't know. I, like, I knew it was on USA for sure. And TNT, it was like randomly out there. It was like one o'clock that flashback Gina. button. Remember that button? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You kept them two channels, just kept flipping back to back. Yes. Back to back. <laughs> we we're talking about Hercules. Uh, I, I I gotta ask you, Melinda. They're doing the Hercules live action, and I feel like you have some great fan casting that you would like to see. Do you have any people in mind playing Hercules? Because I might have some people in mind. Who do you have? Okay, I don't, um, this sounds bad, but I really don't know besides, you know, Jason Momoa. He can be my Hercules. <laughs> Even oh though he did God. really bad as Aquaman, <laughs> he was so great as Kyle Drago. Like, <laughs> can I get a, you know, I forget both of y'all. <laughs> I just, I mean, I just started watching Game of Thrones the other year or whatever. I don't care what y'all say. He didn't do that much in, in fucking Game of Thrones. He was just there. What? He, 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 that was it. He was just clapping cheeks and being a warrior. Whatever. That, you know what? <laughs> that, but you know what? The, the Disney version of it, it's not going to work with him. And I know it, but I would love to see it. But before we get back in there, how was he a bad Aquaman? Because, Mike, cause, like, what are you okay, comparing let me, to? Okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me correct that. He wasn't bad. I just didn't really enjoy the whole movie as a whole. You saw this in the theaters? I did. Did we did, did we invite her? Did we invite did we try to no, invite her? No, you did not invite me. Nope. I'm pretty sure earlier that day we all took shots together at your house. Melinda was she had guests. She had somebody with her. I if I remember right. I think it was like two days before. It was, remember like two days before. Anyway, maybe like I put I could have sworn we you know, threw out the invite to go see it, but so but you saw it in theaters though. I did. I, I sent and you, you a picture. Did. I sent you all a picture. So I think it was just the bad wig that she had on the whole time that ruined the movie for me. <laughs> like, the wig ruined the movie. Get out I, of here. It really did. Like that was all I kept looking at. Like, yo, y'all spent all this money on this show in this movie, excuse me, and y'all couldn't have got a better like hair job. Like you couldn't have done better with this. And so mm. every time she came on screen, I was just like, no. Like <laughs> I think yeah. it really did. Don't I think they like put a like, lot of attention on it on purpose. Yeah, I, I think I think I agree with you. Yeah. It's supposed to be super red anyway. To a certain extent. To a certain extent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't the color. It was just like ev- everything else about it. Like I'm cool with it being super red. Mm-hmm. You know, her outfit, everything was great, but it was just it was bad. Like it was. I feel like my 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 lady pop pointed that out as well. I 
I mean, I stopped looking at it, but I wasn't caring. I was looking at everything else. I was like, yo, this is some crazy Get the titties stuff. out. I'm not saying that. I'm not confirming nor <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to disagree with you. We can talk about that off camera, but I'm not agreeing right now. Okay. I understand. I I, I'm just saying, just like, not, not even her, just the whole movie in general. So, like, the, the wig didn't bother me because I'm like, well, she didn't want to dye her head super red anyway. So, I don't blame her on that. I mean, I. Maybe it could have been a better wig, but I'm not paying attention to wigs unless it just looks like like looks unless it looks really bad and it didn't look that bad. It did. That was the thing. It I feel did. Like that was oh. Henry. I think that was the mustache for us for Henry Cavalli with the with the lips, the Superman. I, I feel like that was the mustache for everybody who watched movies. Like this, his face looks disfigured. So I don't think that yeah. you hear that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you call that right? Just leave his mouth looked distorted at the beginning of the movie, right? Like I feel like That's everybody totally caught that. Didn't notice. <laughs> you said you didn't notice. I did not notice. I didn't. See, like, see. I didn't. I promise you, I didn't. So, like, I, it makes me want to go back and look. So, it's, it's you might so be bad. right. It, yeah, I'm like, if anything, like, I might put, it, I might put it in here or go back to the last episode we mentioned again. Like, I will see you bad so you can look at that, and it, it it's disturbing. Cause I mean it, it doesn't it doesn't look bad, but you watching like that it doesn't look right. Like something's wrong in the frame. I know what his face supposed to look like. Okay, see, and I agree. That's exactly how I felt with her. And so every time she would come on screen, that's what I would, my focus went to. Like mm-hmm. and like And they were right here too, Jesus. Melinda. They made his face weird like that and they weren't on a like a far shot. They were like like he was talking and it was just like it's just like hope. But he was like, it's like hope. Hope. <laughs> I was like, there's, there's, so many, there's so many shots of, I mean, there's so many like reshoots with him having a mustache. So I can tell a lot of times like what wasn't right. I mean, so maybe, maybe it is the difference. I don't know. Like I'm saying, I knew it was a wig. I just didn't care. But you were saying like that a wig threw you off for the whole movie. You tripping. That, that's the, that's the big point. All right. The wig shouldn't have thrown you off the whole movie. Everything else was, was, it was a good time. It was, it was okay. I like the graphics. I don't know. I don't know if I really want to say I liked the storyline because I don't think I did. So it, it was like Thor meets Black Panther, <laughs> brother fighting over the throne, and somebody know. you know rising to the occasion and coming into his own. It was like it was like I, it felt like Thor meets Black Panther meets Man of Steel. Like he he was doing something he didn't know if he wanted to or or wanted to do or or didn't want to do. Like like nah, you gotta be the king because. Your stepbrother, your brother, whatever, is crazy. Like he over here trying to kill everybody. Like you, you're a good guy. You're a good person. Do the right thing. You already have saved people anyway. Just lead this kingdom. I enjoyed the crap out of it. I enjoyed it too. We saw it together. Yeah. Sorry, Melinda. Uh, well, I was about to say maybe if I saw it with y'all, I would have enjoyed it more. But you know, mm-hmm. I, I saw it. I mean, Dre, Dre didn't really like it either. either. Mm. Remember? See? I think it was. I think Dre was like, "I gotta watch it again." You know, to Dre, that's like, man. Nah, you know what? I never watched it a second <laughs> time, and a lot of the movies I do watch again, and I didn't. I was just like, whatever. I'm not really here to like change your mind. My girl's like, "Why are you ever trying to change my mind all the time?" I'm like, I'm not. I'm just trying to see your perspective on it. So, I mean, if you wasn't feeling it, hey. Yeah, I wasn't. I I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed him as uh, Aquaman. Uh, interaction it was fun like i can't wait for the second one it made a billion dollars so i can't wait to see it in theaters on imax the screen again you know, that's the first time i saw it. i saw it, like with james wan like screen and i was like this looks nuts like i was not expecting this at all this is bonkers fam you know i saw it with jeans over there like in seats just shaking like mm-hmm. we saw it in like a what was it, it was like a it was like a f yeah it, was, yeah, it was like it was like a or X. It was something. It was something crazy. Yeah, like like yeah. anything. Like the music came on. It, it shook a little bit. Like any explosions, it was rattling. <clears throat> like, it was like underwater, losing our minds. Okay, mm-hmm. but See, maybe, maybe I should have watched it like that. But you won Momoa. That that was your casting, really, as as Hercules, Jason That's Momoa. Hercules. Yeah, he'd, he'd be you awesome. Know, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you know that. I know that. it's not That's realistic. Like, okay, <laughs> so under, understand, I know a lot of my casting is not realistic. It's all about me. It's okay. just me and my <laughs> who, else, who else do you have? Do, do, do you have anybody in mind for Meg? Or do you have okay. anybody in mind for Hades? Yes, oh my God. Um, Ariana Grande would make an amazing Meg. 
I feel like everybody's saying that. I can, I can see that as well. She can act. She definitely can sing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, amazing. Um, the muses is what's going to make them break this whole show. Um, side note, Danny DeVito needs to be... Um, Phil. Yep. There we go. Mm-hmm. Um, so my muses, which are unrealistic, mm-hmm. would be Beyonce. Of course. Everybody wants Beyonce. Summer Walker. You... Okay, keep going. Stop, keep going. Summer Walker, wow. Wow. Yes. Keep, going. Keep, going. Keep, going. keep going. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Keep you going. have to remember all of the muses didn't have personalities. So it was more of on this, you're thinking of who can sing, and then you identify the ones with the personality. Mm-hmm. So, like, Beyonce, of course, would be the lead one, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, Summer Walker, she can sing very well, I think. And so I feel like she'd be one of the like muses that really don't talk. I want her to be in there. Mm-hmm. Um, Anika Nani Rose, the girl that did the voice for Tiana, mm-hmm. she would be amazing. Princess I'm looking at G's face here. What's the, what's the face for? Because Brittany <laughs> said, Brittany started off with like all the, the people you just said. She was like, I don't want them in here at all. She was like, Beyonce, don't even watch the movie. She was like, don't even go to the theater and waste your time. She was like, it's so funny. Yeah. Brittany was like, I want this movie to be all black. And me and Brian was actually dying laughing. Didn't, you know, because didn't Kelsey? Because his own version. Didn't Kelsey mention uh, Beyonce being in the movie too as well? I feel yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I, Brittany was I, like, no, she didn't been in enough stuff. She ruined uh, Lion King. She what? needs to be like, yeah. Brittany was like, Brittany's Brittany, a hater. Brittany, exactly. <laughs> Brittany hates Beyonce. I said yeah. my sister hates Beyonce in the title, and nobody clicked. <laughs> I was shocked. Like, I, I should have been like, my sister hates Beyonce. She just been the whole thing. She didn't say the movie Monday. She just been clickbait. Um, right. Like she is, she's Rihanna over Beyonce, which I don't understand why it's be two different things. Like, you know, right, like, that's weird. It, it's weird to me, but I don't think Beyonce would do it because she's not the lead. Beyonce, like, she left a girl group. Why'd she come back and join another girl group on a, in a movie? I mean, you're right, but I think she would like she would be good being the lead on that. Um, you know the little the plus size um, muse. Mm-hmm. Yo, can I get Megan the Stallion or Lizzo? Like, I'm <laughs> leaning towards Lizzo, but Megan the Stallion will work the hell out of that. that <laughs> <laughs> uh, and okay, so my other one is a little off, but Todrick Hall. I would love to see him as a muse. Now he will cross dress, and I'm cool with him cross dressing <laughs> or playing it as a male. But his ass can sing. He has the personality to be a muse. Um, so I would love for him to be one. <laughs> this is why I asked this question, because I felt like you were going to like come out of left field with stuff, and I enjoyed everything you just said. You have you have any more casting before I just keep giving my thoughts? you have any more? Like, no, hey, I'm you, good. That's you, it. That's you, that's it out of the ballpark. Wow. You said Todrick Hall. Look. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Like we are in a different world. Like we are, uh, I guess, being more uh, accessible or more susceptible, and like uh, growing as a society. So they could possibly do that. I'm like I'm not hating with it. I know the dude can sing. He's really talented. So I didn't see that coming. Summer Walker. I've I've heard her sing on two songs. So I care could care less. I'm not gonna lie. Like she. But like she, I said, she can be one of the. Just the side, you know. Yeah, yeah, she's, like, she's out there, so cool. You said Meg the Stallion. See, here's my cast and a lot of stuff. I want Meg the Stallion to be Meg. Mm, yeah, oh you see shit! That. Okay. Yeah. Didn't think that, huh? Yeah, fuck you up. Yeah, Meg, Meg, Meg be rapping yeah. instead of him, like singing the whole time for a real black person. It's super black. So, he is. This so, is, but that would change the whole movie, though. Like exactly. That's to, not that, what they're doing, though. I want, I want Tyler Perry to come put this out on BT Plus. Oh my god! So I okay. want Tyler Perry to direct it, and I want him to be Zeus <laughs> and Hades, like a back and forth, like him playing himself, talking to himself. And I'm thinking uh, Kevin Hart and Marlon Wayans as like pain. As pain and pain. And pain. Oh my god, that would be so cute. Thinking about oh my that. god. And we got him like switch up on you. You know, I expect it. You, you put Michael Ely as freaking uh hercules like he ain't done nothing like that big time in a minute you know what i'm saying so throw that out there throw megan good oh as one of the singing girls and you know i'm just going to be extra yeah. black uh i want you know morgan freeman pop in there all of a sudden he could be phil like he got a he got a crazy voice no like, morgan he, freeman would have to be zeus he would have to be that's, that's too cliche i'm so i want to mix things up a exactly. little bit that's it. like you said you got todrick hall and todrick hall i'm like actually todrick hall should be phil there we go there we go <laughs> but you know what okay now we're talking about pain and panic. Mm-hmm. Kim Pill would do really great with as them. Yeah, no, I know that. Yeah, I'm like that. I said 
I know, I'm just, I'm just saying shit like to throw people off because no one's expecting this shit. Because G was saying, yeah, my, I want myself to be extra black. I want to be crispy. I want to be Cajun. Oh my god! I want this premiere on BET Plus, plus plus. <laughs> like, she was like, nobody's gonna see this. I was like, I'm a Tyrese actually as Hercules. <laughs> see. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no this is, this is no shade to any of what I mentioned. This is no, but for real. For real, Megan Thee Stallion as Meg, that'd be fire. We heard this in the movie, period. I'm with it. I'm with it. Todrick Hall, yeah, it's summer. Everything you just said was Ariana Grande. I'm telling you, Ariana Grande I, would make an amazing Meg. I, I have seen, I've definitely, no, that's like, I feel like that's easy cast, and like, she should, should easily do that. I've been seeing, you said his name earlier, Michael B. Jordan. I think people would be mad as hell at him being Hercules, but, uh, what about the what about the black dude from uh How to Get Get Away with Murder? I think his name was like Rome Flynn. People were saying that you know you got you got special okay. hair. You got like you know that special that's, hair. Yeah, that, that's, okay. that's silky okay. that's silky goodness. So if you want to go black, you can do it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, so, I really, so you're just not gonna throw Lizzo in there at all? She had her moment. Oh, okay. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. No, no. Obviously, she's talented. She can obviously be there. <laughs> no, I'm being asked. I mean, no, I feel like I feel like just easy cast. I was like, oh, let's get a big girl and let's get Brad Lizzo. I'm like, you can throw Amber Riley in there. That's what but, you said. But she can sing. Yeah, that's what and, I'm saying. Like, you, I said, I think everybody you said would would work in there. I mean, besides Summer. I'm like, I, I said, I've never really said, on time patience to her is the song with Usher. I'm like, and I don't plan on listening to anything else she has because it just doesn't move me that way. Okay. But you also didn't even address Anika Nani Rose. Um, Tiana, come on. I feel like she's like, already, I feel like she just remake that movie, make that movie in real life, just put her as her character. Um, that would be but yeah, amazing. No, she, she, can, she can do that. What about, uh, what's her face from um, Private Practice? Audra McDonald. Like, she can sing her ass off. You didn't know that, but she was on Broadway. She was the black woman on yeah. Private Practice. She can sing her ass off. She would be fantastic in the movie. I said, I want to get like, if I want to get serious about this, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I love hearing everybody's like perspective on this. Also, it's produced by the Russo brothers, aka the Avengers, Infinity War, Captain Mar, uh, Captain America, Winter Soldier, all those movies. Like, so it's gonna be a lot of action. That I did not know. Yeah, it's gonna be. I, I, I feel good about it. That's what I'm, like, I, so I'm just throwing like some bullshit out there just to <laughs> see what everybody else thinks. So I think it's gonna be dope. Well, regardless of anything in the casting, I will be there to see it. You know, I'm down for anything Disney. So I will be there. Opening I night. Feel you. I feel you. Guys, I think we're done. Like we, I, I ran out of topics. Man, I appreciate you guys for coming through on another episode of Movie Mondays. Melinda, thank you so much. Thanks, Look, thank you for finally way. having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, maybe we can you know, do a reaction together at some point. I, I might have something that you might nerd out with me about. I might pull you in. Uh, I don't want to give it away just yet, so I will let you know about that soon. They can follow you on Instagram. I'll post that up there. And make sure you guys follow G. Appreciate my co-host once again for holding it down as usual. Follow him on Instagram as well. And make sure you guys follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And make sure you guys hit that like, share, and subscribe button. If you like Movie Mondays, cool. If you didn't, Man, you saw Trevor, man. Get down Movie Mondays. It's your boy, Movie Messiah. Base 5, let's ride. Appreciate y'all.